Hey everybody, this is Mr. G. Today, how to trump, how to program a drum machine. We've got this really cool program uh, built by a guy named uh, Dreampipe. I'm gonna just uh, open this link so you can see who this is. Um, he's a, a guy named Jamie Thompson, and he builds little uh, web web apps. I guess I just discovered this the other day, and um, it is like it's a simple little drum programming machine so I can record a beat so um, step one is you have to hit play now when I hit play you're gonna see a little light that's moving along the bottom and just to un just to understand this if you come from any kind of music background uh, music it, it follows a, a pulse or a beat and in this particular instance uh, we have one measure uh, you could look at it like it's one measure, or you could actually look like it like it's two measures. Um, but every four of these little, you see they're broken into color sections. You have the red, the orange, the yellow, and the white. So every beat or downbeat would be considered on the first one. So I'm going to select kick. I'm going to just try to just show you this. I'm going to click kick on the first one of each color, okay? And I'm going to hit play. Oops, I accidentally highlighted. Hear that? Bup, bup. Up, up. That's because I have the second one. I'm gonna turn that one off for now. That's a typical house beat right there, like a like a dance club. You'd hear that boom, boom, boom. So I've got I've got my bass. All good, I'd say most good beats have a kick and usually a snare. So I'm gonna to go to the snare. The snare is that cracking sound that you hear that k. So I'm gonna put a snare on the second and the fourth beat, or if you want to call it this, it's a, it's on the fifth and the 13th, 13th, 14th, 15th, yeah, the 5th and the 13th spot, okay, and I'm hit play. There you go. Ba, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka. Now you can change it up, and another thing that we like to add uh, as a, a people that play drums, you go to the closed or open. This is closed or open hi-hat, okay, so an open hi-hat, a closed hi-hat is two, it's basically two symbols that are held together, and it makes a sound like a t t t t t t t and when you open the hi hat, it creates a like a, a rattling noise, and you get a sound. So I'm going to put the closed hi hat, and I'm going to put it on every other beat. So one, three, five, seven, nine. So I'm going to go to closed. One, three, five. Oops, my bad. Like that. Now I'll hit the play. There we go. I got a pretty simple drumming. Now, if I want to change the volume, I can actually make that really quiet or really loud or not a whole it doesn't make it a whole lot louder but you can make it a little louder and you can tune it see it's getting higher pitched I'm gonna turn down the kick drum and the snare for a minute and let you hear when I change that now that changes that sound a lot too you get a very low sound, and that creates a very interesting, uh, interesting combination. So you can actually play and tweak with these sounds and get the levels so that they're more what what you want it to sound like. Um, now the next thing I want to show you, because some of you are like, I'm not a musician. How do I program a beat? Well, you can just randomly click on stuff. You're probably not going to get a beat that you're super excited by. So I found a web page, and it's it's the Ethan Hine blog. Um, and uh, in particular, he has a link right here. And here's the link, Drum Machine Programming. Probably if you wrote Drum Machine Programming, uh, Ethan, you'd probably find this article. And uh, basically, he gives some patterns. And if you see this, look at this number 1 to 16. And if you look at our uh, drum machine here, uh, you'll notice that it is 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven. So it's four groups of four, four times four, 16. There's our 16. So when we look at this, he's going to give us some, uh, there's a little key here. BD is bass drum or kick drum. So over here, that would be kick, okay? Uh, the SN or snare, we've already got that. There's snare. The uh, hi-hat, closed hi-hat, open hi-hat. See the word closed and open? There's your closed and open hi-hats. Um, and then you've got ride symbol. I don't know if there's a ride. I mean, let me see. Is there a ride in here? Maybe high. Let me ref let me uh, let me refresh this. Let me just click on on high and see what that sounds like. I'm not sure what that is. Play. No, that's not it. Um, it's kind of cool. 
<laughs> that's not it either. Although you could, you you know, you could substitute one of those for the high, but uh, that's probably not <laughs> that's probably not the sound that you're looking for. So, building a beat. Here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna start with a generic hip hop beat, okay? And if you look, there's our one through sixteen, and you'll see that the bass drum is on one, eight, eleven, and fifteen. So one, eight, eleven, and fifteen. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go to kick drum. I'm gonna put on one. Then eight, so let's see, four, eight, eleven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and fifteen. So sixteen is the last one, so fifteen. Let's play that. Boom. Now if it's hip hop, I'm gonna slow it down into the nineties, maybe the eighties. Okay, so there's my boom, 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 boom. Go back, and now I'm gonna put the snare on the five and the 13, so five and 13. So go back, select snare so that the light turns on. I'm gonna go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, play. There you go, that snare does, it definitely gives it a, a sense of, of something that, that you've heard before. Okay, so I'm gonna stop that. Now, last thing I believe is the hi-hat. The hi hat is on every other beat, so it's on one, three, five, seven. It's all on the it's on the odds. So let's put the hi hat on all the odds. We're gonna go to closed and go one, three, uh, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. Play. Then, if you want to tweak it up a little bit, I'm gonna add a couple extra. There you go. We just created the uh, beat kind of a hip-hop style beat uh, it's uh, obviously now let's say you don't like the sounds you can actually switch between different drum sounds so here's electro now see in this one the hi-hat sound is much louder so maybe I'm gonna turn that I'm gonna turn that down a little bit I don't like it in this particular kit is loud house okay and then techno By the way, the thing that I think changes the most in these different kits is the kick and the snare. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the hi-hat in the acoustic uh, acoustic kit, so I'm turning that down. So there you go. Now you can try this and try all these different beats and you can do some famous, famous backbeats. Uh, I, I know this one, this is When the Levy Breaks is a, a, a Led Zeppelin song. What is the link link to, I wonder? What's the link link to? Oh, it shows you the original. Oh, wow, it's like a history of the beat. Even even you can hear the original original beat or maybe a remix of the beat. So anyway, have a great time playing with this. Also, just to show you, if you type in online drum machines, you're going to find a whole bunch of different ones. I found this one was kind of cool. It's called Drumbit. It's, it operates a little differently, but you'll see there's one, two, three, four, and you'll see it's divided into... 16 spaces but instead of having them all laid out you can see the entire kit and you can just click and drag in there and you hit space bar and that lets you play it's not a very good beat um and then there's another one that i found it's called just drum machine um and this one has some some cool features that the other one doesn't have but what i like about html5 drummer drum machine is that you can also you can save your beat so i'm going to go back to hip-hop i don't think i showed that and you just you, all you have to do is hit play and you say export pattern as wave, and then you just let it go for a minute. It's like you're hitting record on your phone and you're recording a video, you're recording audio. And then you hit stop when you're done, and then download. And it will give you the option to download that recording, and I'd save it to a place you're used to saving it. I'm saving it in my downloads. I'm gonna call this uh, beat four, because I've already done this like three or four times. And then when it's finished downloading, I'm gonna just click on it, I'm gonna open it up, and there it is. There's my beat. So you could record yourself a long beat, make a song, boom, you got your own custom beats. You could make this uh, background music for your YouTube channel. Have fun with it. HTML drum machine, uh, a way for you to make music when maybe you're not a musician and you wanna learn how to become a musician, learn how to make a beat, beats essential. Have a great day, this is Mr. Giles with a, another tutorial. Drive safe.